on, sipping a bone dry, looking at the carpeted floors, the cheek wall and tables, watching my video cassette player, making transatlantic calls on my single sideband. Some poor schmuck in a sailboat goes wandering by, three miles an hour, sails billowing, schmitz in hate and life. I tell you that, I just pity them. They're just such differences. I mean, they're just two different kind of people, sailing people and power people, and, and never the twain shall meet, really. Let's do another edition, volume three. The comparisons. Sailboaters versus power boaters. Favorite movie, sailboaters. Gandhi. Power boaters, Debbie does Dallas. Favorite war hero. Sailboaters. Lekwalenza. Power boaters. William Kelly. Favorite method of birth control. Sailboaters. Abstinence. Power boaters. Double the gear. Last book read. Sailboaters. I'm okay. You're okay. Power boaters. Complete positions of the Kama Sutra. Every cockamamie call in the world gets through to me. People that have stupid questions, people that have no business calling me, and yet the ones that I want always get disconnected. Okay, hello, Grace. Yeah, I'm uh, driving through from Oklahoma. I was wondering, uh, can I come by with my whole family? That'll get through. But the call that's important to me, Grace, we have the word on your boat. It's going to be, that doesn't get through. Son of a... Good morning. Grace Man. Oh, God, yes, 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 a little estrogen, a little femininity. That's exactly what I need this morning. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, a lot better now that you've called, baby. What? A lot better now that you've called. A lot better? You know who this is? Who is this? Tanya Lasagna. Tanya Lasagna. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Hey, man, how them ostrich skin boots, buddy? Them ostrich skin boots are fine, buddy. Hey, man, listen, uh, a, couple, a couple years ago, man, when you first started working, you, you had a... Uh, you had a pretty frequent caller. You used to call every morning. I'm trying to find out if you know what happened to her. Don't you remember Grandma? She died. Oh, man. <laughs> Good morning, Nino. Oh, hi, little honey pie. Hi, little cutie. Will you be my baby? Will you be my pooty? Boy, what? Never mind. Hello, how about the, how about the, how about the? Great man. Yeah. Hi, remember me? No. Talking yesterday. You what? Talking yesterday. Okay, well, so did 500 other people. What can I do for you, buddy? Okay, let's talk. Well, what do you want to talk about? All right. All right, I got to run. All right, bye-bye. Maggot, maggot, maggot. Just during the show, you um, refrained from making phone calls yourself, outgoing calls. You said you get in trouble. What's the I, problem with that? I do make them sometimes. I just Some of them are piddling, and they take my time. You know, it's Joe Blow's birthday. Call Joe. He's a big fan. I call Joe. Hi. Good to talk to you. Boom. I've wasted two minutes. I don't have two minutes. I make everything up as I go, and those two minutes are valuable. If, on the other hand, someone calls me up that's perky, enthusiastic, sounds pleasant to listen to, and asks me to call someone who has some unusual circumstance, um, you know, somebody called up and said, call my son. He was riding his bike the other day, fell off, and he got his manhood stuck in the chain. I call I that. that. I call that guy, and I, I, I do make calls of that nature. But I have to get some sixth sense tells me whether it's going to be a good call or a waste of time. Rather than explain that whole thing that I just explained to you to the maggots, they say call. I just say I'll get in trouble. Boom, on to the next call. I see. I, I was starting to think that there was some complaint or FCC rigid or you know problem with no, there's none. you making the initiation of the call. Well, technically there could be. You know, if I initiate the call, technically I could be a. a you know, I, I don't know. There could be someone might say something about that. But when people call me, they called me, so it's kind of carte blanche. them call me. I can't. I don't have time to call out today. But if you have them call me, I'll try to talk to them, okay? This is a, this is a GMF. A GMF? Yeah. I, I really I want him to bust him out, but I can't do it myself. Yeah, but... buddy, I know. Well, I can't call him, so he has to call me. Uh, I'm getting in trouble for these outgoing calls. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Whatever I, comes up, comes up. And I never really know what's going to happen every day. Maybe I can. Perhaps, perhaps, perchance. <laughs> what? Listen to him. Listen to him laughing about it. Take a hike, buddy. Take a hike. Take a hike. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm a, it's a good thing that I'm on the radio because it gives you a chance to test your woman. Because if you think I'm funny and then you, you fall in love with a woman who doesn't think I'm funny, then all, every day when you drive to work, what are you going to listen to? You know, something mellow and all. He's probably, wee, wee, wee. oh boy, I bet you I'm missing all the action. Then you hear everybody at work saying, hey, did you hear what the Grinch did this morning? Holy shit, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, he called this guy up, and I was unbelievable. Yeah, but no, you won't have heard it, because you'll be listening to Monavani, because you're worse, worse. You know, I decided at this stage of my life, I'm getting off my knees. A lot of guys, they change their whole life just to get some woman. I, you know, I did it too, I admit it. When I was 21, I fell in love with this dame. I used to love to go clay bird shooting, love to go trap shooting. She said, oh, I hate guns, they scam me put them away don't have them out when i you know and i just want to clean my shotgun and and so i gave it away and i'm thinking geez i sure miss that clay bird shooting so to this day and to this day i do everything that could possibly offend anybody on our first date i want to run them off quick you know i don't want to i'm off my knees now you know what i mean i drive a nasty car in case anybody makes comment and then so i can find out if the only reason they go out with you is for your car so i got this nasty old truck that i drive number two i punch in an eddie murphy tape that's a good way to test somebody's sense of humor eddie murphy if they think he's funny they're all right you know but if they go oh well he's just a little too offended i can't oh listen to what he say oh turn it off turn it off yeah i start getting vibes like that you know now I'll, I'll light up a tipperillo smoke bother you? She says yes. She's history. Yeah, buddy. You know, you, you just gotta, you just gotta get off your knees if you're gonna be a man. Get off your knees because sooner or later you will. Sooner or later when you give up your trap shooting or your hunting or your fishing, whatever it likes, you like to go mountain climbing, but you don't go because your girlfriend gets hives from the bushes. You know, so you give that up. Well, what'll happen is 15, 20 years from now, you'll meet some dame who likes to hunt and shoot and she probably takes drags off your tipperillos and it doesn't bother her at all and you realize you have so much more in common and you got this fat hog at home with 15 kids and mortgage payments, and, and then you'll dump her, but by then it'll be so complicated and so hard to do that you ought to, that's why I dump them quick. First date. First date, yeah, you know. Oh, would you mind putting out that tipperillo and, oh, God, turn off that Eddie Murphy tape. How can you listen to that language and, my God, hunting? Oh, that's when I pull into a gas station and say, I, I think you might, I'm going to take a leak here one second. She said, well, as long as we're stopping, maybe I'll get the key to the ladies' room, too. I wait till they're behind the door of the ladies' room, and then it's like, hey, yeah.